This is the shocking, untold, tragic life of Anne Margaret, a Hollywood icon that had to deal with tragic losses and heartbreaks right from her childhood up to her golden years. Anne Margaret was born on 28th April 1941 in Valsjöbyn, Jämtland County, Sweden, to hard-working parents Anna Regina Aronson and Carl Gustav Olsen. In 1946, the family left Sweden for the land of opportunities, the United States, settling in the vibrant city of Chicago. Growing up in a new country wasn't easy, but Anne Margaret's discipline, diligence and perseverance helped her thrive. She quickly acclimated to her new surroundings, learned English with ease and became an outstanding student. But hold on, it wasn't her academic prowess that made her a star, it was her electrifying performances. Anne Margaret discovered her passion for music and dance at a young age and she knew she was destined for the stage. She was a natural born star oozing talent and charisma that caught the attention of everyone around her. A local theatre producer soon discovered her and cast her in the hit production of Bye Bye Birdie, where her performance was hailed by both critics and audiences. Her rise to stardom, however, was not a walk in the park. As an immigrant, she faced the harsh realities of discrimination and prejudice in a foreign land, but her fierce determination and resilience paid off as she shattered barriers and reached the pinnacle of success. Just as a star was shining its brightest, tragedy struck. It wasn't just an emotional blow. It affected her physical being for years to come. It all happened in 1972, when Anne was slated to make a live performance on stage. She was to be dropped down to the stage for her performance, but the machine malfunctioned and Anne Margaret fell almost two stories down to the stage. The impact was so intense that it left her unconscious and fighting for her life. She was quickly rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. When she arrived at the hospital, she received, according to her words, what turned out to be one of the saddest news of her life. Diagnosis revealed that she had five facial fractures, disjointed elbow, a shattered jaw, a gash down the left arm and a trauma to the head. Although she ended up waking up three days later, she was barely able to lift a finger and she wasn't sure that she would be able to perform again. Nevertheless, Anne Margaret's passion for dance and music continued to burn like a fiery inferno nothing could extinguish. Not even the devastating accident that left her with physical limitations. She refused to let the injuries hold her back and embarked on a grueling rehabilitation journey that would push her to her limits. And her sheer determination, resilience and hard work paid off and she triumphantly returned to the stage in Las Vegas just 10 weeks after the incident. But that's not all for the tragic moments in her life. On the surface, Anne Margaret seemed like she had it all. But deep down, her romantic relationships were anything but a bed of roses. Her love life was a roller coaster ride with more twists and turns than a Hollywood plot. And her relationship with none other than Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, was no exception. The two met on the set of Viva Las Vegas in early July and sparks flew like fireworks. They were the epitome of a power couple, but their love was a ticking bomb from the start. From the moment they shared their first scene, it was clear that something electric was happening between the two. They sizzled on the screen, their every glance and touch charged with an intensity that was impossible to ignore. It was as though they were dancing a dangerous tango, each daring the other to come closer to take things further. Off screen, their connection was just as intense. Elvis was married at the time, but that didn't stop him from pursuing Anne Margaret with a fever that bordered on obsession. For her part, Anne Margaret was equally smitten. She was drawn to Elvis's raw masculinity, his magnetism, and his deep, soulful voice. She felt a connection with him that was unlike anything she had ever experienced before, and she knew that he felt it too. Their affair was a stuff of legend. They were like two wildfires, burning hot and bright, their flames consuming everything in their path. But as intense as their love was, it was also fraught with danger. Elvis was torn between his love for Anne Margaret and his loyalty to his wife, and in the end, he chose the latter. Anne Margaret, devastated and without option, had to move on from the man 
who had captured her heart so completely. But even as they went their separate ways, the memory of their love affair lingered on. And even now, decades after their affair ended, the story of Elvis Presley's electric love affair with Anne Margaret remains one of the most captivating and mind-blowing creative tales of rock and roll history. But it didn't end there with a tumultuous love life. Although Anne Margaret and Roger Smith's love story was more stable, it was also filled with ups and downs. They first laid eyes on each other on the set of Once a Thief. It was love at first sight, and the couple tied the knot in 1967. Their union endured for a remarkable 50 years until Smith's passing in 2017. However, life threw them a curveball as Smith was diagnosed with myasthenia gravis, a debilitating neuromuscular disorder. As Smith's health deteriorated, and margaret took on a role of his primary caregiver, but the emotional and physical burden was heavy. Despite the challenging circumstances, and margaret remained fiercely devoted to Smith, and her unwavering love and support never faltered. And margarets relationship with Smith was the most enduring of her life, but it was not the only one. She had a string of romances throughout her career, including relationships with Frank Sinatra and Burt Reynolds. But these relationships, like her relationship with Elvis, were fleeting. But the question remains, why was Anne Margaret's love life so tumultuous? Was it the nature of her profession, the men she chose to be with, or something deeper? Perhaps it was a combination of all these factors. The world was stunned when the news of Elvis Presley's tragic death broke on August 16, 1977. The king of rock and roll had passed away at the young age of 42, leaving behind a legacy the world would never forget. However, there was one person who was hit harder than most by the news of Elvis's untimely demise. Anne Margaret, his co-star and former flame. Despite their breakup, Anne Margaret and Elvis remained close friends over the years. They would often meet up and talk on the phone, and Anne Margaret even visited Elvis at Graceland a few times. So when news of Elvis's death reached Anne Margaret, she was devastated. The news hit her hard, and she was unable to come to terms with the fact that Elvis was gone forever. She had lost not just a friend, but someone who had been a huge part of her life at one point. Anne Margaret retreated into herself, struggling to cope with the grief that consumed her. She found it difficult to function, unable to concentrate on anything else but the loss of Elvis. The world around her seemed to have lost its color and she felt like she was drowning in a sea of sorrow. For years, Anne Margaret struggled to come to terms with Elvis's death. She found solace in her work, throwing herself into her acting career and performing live shows. But the pain of losing Elvis never completely went away. It wasn't until many years later that Anne Margaret was able to process her grief and come to a place of acceptance. She began to look back on her memories of Elvis with fondness, cherishing the time they'd spent together and the impact he had on her life. Despite the tragic loss of Elvis, Anne Margaret's own star continued to shine brightly. She went on to have a successful career in Hollywood, starring in films like Carnal Knowledge and Tommy and earning numerous awards for her performances. But even as she achieved success and acclaim, Anne Margaret never forgot the impact that Elvis had had on her life. His death had been a tragic loss, one that had affected her deeply and left an indelible mark on her soul. In the end, the story of Elvis Presley's tragic death and its impact on Anne Margaret serves as a reminder of the enduring power of love and friendship. Even in death, Elvis's legacy lives on, inspiring and touching the lives of those he left behind. As for Anne Margaret, she remains a true icon of Hollywood, a woman whose talent and grace have captivated audiences for decades. And though the pain of losing Elvis will always be a part of her story, it is the strength and resilience she showed in the face of that loss that truly makes her a legend. If you enjoyed this video, there's a good chance you'll also enjoy the one showing on your screen right now. Click away and enjoy. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you on the next one.